<laughs> what? We're gonna be reacting to the strangest role play. Uh, obsessions, and I'm guessing that's like the characters. I think. Let's get started. Barbie is my inspiration. So you want to look just like your Barbie? Yes, I want Rebecca to look just like me. Woo! Barbie crazy. Stanley is a 31-year-old adult, but on the inside, he's a real child. There's no way. I, don't, I never understand how these are real. Anyways, okay. Some might call it so, arrested development, but for back. this guy, it's playtime every day. Longer so I can bend over and uh, be comfortable. He sleeps in a crib and dines in a high chair. Just, just say you don't want to pay bills. Just, just say that. Crucial element missing. And today he's meeting a potential new mother for the very first time. Hi. Not just find somebody, but find somebody that you get the emotion from, that's doing it because they have that love, they want that kind of. He doesn't even have mannerisms of a baby. He's just wearing baby clothes and acting like a baby. But it's weird. Come on in. Nice to meet you, Stanley. Meet you. Come in. Hi, Stanley. Oh my. Goodness. Wanna play? Yes. This isn't Avodny's first baby, who's old enough to grow a beard. Over the past four years, she's mothered two other adult babies. <laughs> You're trying to get me. <laughs> I feel like that's weird on her part. You're weird if you would like doing that. You see how big this man is? Imagine looking at a grown man. Like man. Come here, Thomas. Let me rub your feet. women who provide this service charge by the hour but Stanley is looking for someone who'll do it out of motherly love see he don't want to pay bills literally he, he, what okay but I didn't know you got paid to do that I, but, uh, the bag she said I want somebody that wants to do it because they have the love to give and not because they have to be paid to do it you ready for a race? I'm ready. One, two, three, go! Oh my! <laughs> There's people like Stanley who are toddler all the way up. It often involves age regression, obviously, and helps people get into a childlike headspace. Ready, set, go! Yay! You want to find somebody that's got a similar energy level, somebody with similar likes. What's your favorite color? Green. It's a good color. I'm definitely looking for somebody that wants to have a baby that's you know, relatively low maintenance. And we can knock it down. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I'm not running around coloring on the walls. Do you want to teach the puppies Itsy Bitsy Spider, Stanley? Want to sing it together, Stanley? OK. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down, down came, came the rain and, and washed the spider, spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Yay! So you practice your song with the puppies. But being a mother isn't all playthings and nursery rhymes. It's lunchtime. And with a terrible two like Stanley, that can be trouble. All right, Stanley, you ready for some? I thought he was doing something else with those teddy bears. <laughs> Food? Yes. It's your juice. Double cheeked up on a Tuesday afternoon. All you see was thighs. Oh my god. All right, Stanley. Yeah. Yeah. Open wide. Get it! Yay! Good job. You caught it all. <laughs> Smooth sailing. You're such a good boy. Robin Amato of Tampa, Florida. I'm glad I was over. 
was good. I was good, kind of jealous. So many Raggedy Ann's in her home that she could sleep with a different doll every night for the next five years. But her obsession has gone beyond just playing with her Raggedy friends. She turns herself into the red-headed doll at least once a week. Then I took... There's no way this isn't childhood trauma because that's scary. Imagine... Well, no, that is scary. Like, imagine if I had, like... 300 of these just all over my room. That's a little concerning, a little concerning. My raggedy wig on. All my friends tell me I look great. Recently, Robin's raggedy community. She need to get new friends because they're lying. Community has been rapidly decreasing in numbers, and Robin now fears that the future of raggedy collecting could be in jeopardy. So many of the raggedy collectors are getting older and the numbers are dwindling, and it just gives me a renewed passion that I need to recruit people to get involved in raggedy collecting. It's giving cult. She's trying to recruit people to become a doll with her. I think my mom is gonna have a hard time finding new followers. I can't think that there's too many people who would be into these crazy looking dolls uh, like she is. Raggedy Ann is an American icon. It's so important that we continue collecting people into the Raggedy friendship fold. Hi, I'm Raggedy Robin. Have you ever heard of Raggedy Ann? I think I used to have one when I was like six or seven. The fact that they're talking back to her, this is 2024 in the United States of America. If somebody comes to my door, or anybody's door dressed up like that, I feel like I wouldn't entertain the conversation. She said, I feel like I used to have some. I would be like, ma'am. Matter of fact, I wouldn't even open the door. I'm having a raggedy gathering at my home tonight, and I'd love for you to come. Who's going to go to that, especially if they're children? Because I don't know it's fake, because that's... Yeah, let me just go over to this old lady's house that wanted me to be a doll with her. Let's see if you come back. It's going to turn into a criminal, a criminal Minds episode. Hi, I'm Raggedy Robin. Have you ever heard of Raggedy Ann? <laughs> the way he looked at her. <laughs> She is a wonderful doll, and I collect Raggedy Ann and Andy items. I'd like to tell you about some of the virtues quick. Do you have a moment? Some of the virtues of Raggedy Ann and Andy are love, kindness, caring, and compassion. And these are things I'd like to share with other people. I've made it my mission in life to recruit more Raggedy collectors so that they can experience the joys of Raggedy Ann and Andy like I have. So I'll be having a gathering at my home this evening. I would love for you to come. Here's a flyer that'll tell you all about it. Hi. Thank you. Here's a flyer. Can you keep those? Thank you very much. Thank you. Hope to see you there. Okay. Thanks again. Robin often spends up to six hours spreading the raggedy gospel in the hopes of recruiting new followers. And yesterday was Raggedy Ann's 97th birthday. Today, she's invited nearly a dozen strangers to her home. Hopefully, her hard work pays off. Thanks for coming. No problem. Thank you for having us. Oh. I want to thank everyone for coming tonight. And I'd like to introduce you to a very special guest this evening, Raggedy Robin. There's no way people actually came. See, this is exactly how I know this is fake because you would bring your kid. That doesn't sound right. Like, that's like. It's giving kidnap. <laughs> Hi, I'm Raggedy Robin, and I've asked you to come here this evening to tell you about a very Hey, Mel. Hi. Chicken. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Got an appointment with Heather. So you want to look just like your Barbie? Yes, I want Rebecca to look just like me. Let's All right. Hopefully you enjoyed watching. Hopefully you found some of this kind of funny. I'm kind of new to this, so let me just get good at it. And I um, hope you enjoy watching because that's pretty much it.
peace, I guess.